I think there's definitely an element of, you know, curiosity and, you know, uh, being adventurous to come try Filipino food for the first time. There's always an unknown factor because you can only hope that people are going to receive what you're giving. I thought, well, I wanted to open a restaurant, but the money, uh, it's, a, it's a lot, a lot of money to open a restaurant. So we thought, hey, you know what, we should start with a food truck. We knew that the demand was there for Filipino cuisine. Yeah, we had some goals. You know, our first goal was for people like not to hate us and our food. Uh, so we accomplished that one pretty quick. Uh, people dug the name. Uh, the food to me was very simple um, and uh, difficult not to like. Having immigrant parents, I saw how hard they had to work. Uh, I think parents as a, or as a whole and in general are always trying to better the lives of their children. Uh, I think that's just a, a common goal. But I think now the goals are still the same, where we want to leave uh, a legacy. You know, it's super cool to think that my sons, Ryu and Sunny, can say forever that, you know, their dad and their mom were the first people to open the first Filipino food truck in Winnipeg. One of the true tests, which was um, the food truck wars at Manifest, there was, it's a three-day festival, we came out for two. We were only able to do two days, but in two out of the three days, we were still voted uh, best bang for your buck, taking home one of four awards. We've done numerous TV. Viceland was the, our most recent one with Maddie Matheson. Now, people who've tasted our food truck food have the opportunity to, to taste more classical and traditional dishes at the restaurant. Last week for uh, Wheeler in the Morning, uh, we were voted top five uh, Filipino restaurants in Canada by the Globe and Mail. Filipinos have a very deep and rich culture. My contribution uh, of sharing the culture is through food. Um, my menu at the restaurant, just like the food truck, are all of my favorites. There is one true nod that I, I constantly seek and that's just from my own particular peers and uh, uh, you know, my, my own countrymen really. Uh, you know, they're coming around. You know, they're giving us a shot and more often than not, they're leaving here happy and full, which is the mission behind what we're doing here. And, you know, Visita, uh, direct translation, visitor or guest. And that's what we aim to do when we come here is to be treated like an absolute guest. Kick your feet up, make yourself at home. Uh, but at the end of the night, uh, to leave uh, happy and full. So, you know, I've been, we've been blessed to be recognized by as many as we have been. I uh, would never have guessed 10 years ago that we'd ever be in this situation. Um, but uh, we can just take it humbly and wholeheartedly and, you know, just keep going. <laughs>